Good day everyone and welcome to my class. Last time we discussed about addition and subtraction of integers. What's do this? Multiplication of integers is easier than addition and subtraction of integers. All you have to do is to remember the word MAC. MAC means multiply and count. Before we apply MAC, I want you to observe the following expressions. First, ignore the negative integers and give me the product. Obviously, the product of this expression is 2. But remember, most of the factors are negative integers. Now, I want you to observe the following equation. Can you tell the connection between the product and the number of negative integers in the factors? If you notice, equation number 1, 2, and 3 have add number of negative integers with the product of negative 2. Therefore, the product of add number of negative integers is negative while equation number 2, 4, and 6 have even number of negative integers with the product of positive 2. Therefore, the product of even number of negative integers is positive. Now this time, let us try to apply MAC to solve the following expression. We have positive 2 times negative 3 times positive 2. First, multiply. 2 times 3 times 2 is equals to 12. Next is count. Count the number of negative integers in the factors. We have 1. Since we have add number of negative integers, that means our product must be a negative integer. Therefore, our final answer must be negative 12. Next, we have positive 2 times negative 3 times negative 2. Again, first, multiply. 2 times 3 times 2 is equals to 12. Next is count. Count the number of negative integers in the factors. We have 1, 2. Since we have even number of negative integers in our factors, that means our product must be a positive number. Therefore, our final answer is positive 12. This time, let us have positive 5 times negative 3 times negative 2 times positive 3. Again, first, multiply. 5 times 3 is 15, times 2 is 30, times 3 is 90. Next is count. Count the number of negative integers in the factors. We have 1, 2. Since we have even number of negative integers in the factor, that means our product must be a positive integers. Therefore, our final answer is positive 90. This time, let us have positive 5 times negative 3 times negative 2 times negative 3. Again, first multiply. 5 times 3 is 15 times 2 is 30 and times 3 is 90. Next is count. Count the number of negative integers in the factors. We have 1, 2, and 3. Since we have add number of negative integers, that means our product must be a negative integers. Therefore, our final answer is negative 90. For our last example, we have 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 
times negative 2. Again, first is multiply. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32, and times 2 is 64. Next is count. Count the number of negative integers in the factors. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Since we have odd number of negative integers in our factors, that means our answer must be a negative integers. Therefore, our final answer is negative 64. Always remember the word MAC. In multiplying integers, MAC means multiply and count. Now this time, I want you to answer this. I will give you one minute to do so. Are you ready? Timer starts now. Time is up. Now let us check your answers. Always remember, be honest to find out whether you understand our topic for today. For number 1, we have negative 12. Number 2 is positive 16. Number 3 is negative 18. Number 4 is negative 30. And number 5 is positive 14. I hope you got all the correct answer. That's all for today children. Goodbye. Until next time.